today in Joe's Guitar Workshop. We're going to do a little maintenance on this Jackson. This Jackson guitar here is beautiful. Plain wood finish. Uh, it's stained a little bit, you can see. Uh, I'll tell you what I did. Or what we're going to do as well. Let me get down here on the ground, man. <laughs> so, this is a pickup mounting bracket right here. Well, as you can see, there's not one here. It's missing. I uh, took it off and put it on the guitar I just built a couple of weeks ago. And because I accidentally threw the other one away, <laughs> so I uh, ordered some right here uh, online. These uh, actually, this came from Walmart, but they got it from uh, an online music store. Because I was like, Walmart sells guitar accessories, man. It's weird. So this should be an easy fix. Um, we got a, I still kept the two springs, two screws right here. And what you do is you're going to put a, a, a screw uh, through the spring and you're going to put your bracket on. Uh, as you can see, uh, underneath here will be the spring uh, and the screw will screw down into this hole here. Sorry. God damn right there and what you do is when you when you get it connected and everything together you can uh, tighten these screws down and it raises the pickup you see how close it is to the strings or if you loosen them it lowers the pickup which this is an exaggerated example but by theory every time the pickup is closer to the strings you get a you get more sustain and you get a more fuller tone uh, that's what I've heard for years so we're going to try that we're going to try to put this on I hope it should be a pretty easy fix here it shouldn't be a real big deal so we're going to put you on the stand and uh, or I might just do a couple of shots like this you can see and uh, all right here we go so that was easy open. That's good. Here's our brackets. There. There. And that should be just standard size. Looks like it is. That's great. Let me get this strap out of the way. It's bugging the shit out of me. So I'm putting something behind there to try to keep it from doing that, keep it stabilized. Uh, back in the day, I used to use a CD case. And uh, so hopefully this will work. But yeah, these strings got to go. I can't, I can't do shit with these strings in the way. So off they go. I mean, I gotta, I just have to. Uh, this thing is due for a string change anyway, so it don't matter. But ah, uh, yeah. So. Oh yeah, see, there we go. I'm glad I caught that. I'm glad I caught that when I did. Whew. Okay, now this, look at there, it lines up, lines up. It's almost, almost lines up perfect, but that's okay. We'll, we'll get it, I got a drill bit in here in case it doesn't we just kind of manually do it so i don't want to over tighten it because i did that uh on the <laughs> on the other one and it was uh it broke the bracket because i tightened it too much that was on the new guitar build i put it down there and it went whoosh, it just broke it man just fucking broke it so I might have to drill two holes up top here. It looks like I'm going to have to do that. Uh, which is okay. We got a little small drill bit here. And we'll just make two small holes. Just something to kind of get us going here. And 
not too deep. I might have went too deep on that and I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. If so, I got a longer screw here, so it's all good. So let's see how we do here. This guitar is actually, uh, oh yeah, that worked great. This guitar is actually not bad at all, man, for the money. I found it at Guitar Center um, a couple years ago. Nathan and I went, and yeah, there we go. We went, and I saw it hanging on the on the on the rack, the guitar wall there. And I really liked the way it looked with the natural finish. And I was going to paint this guitar as of recently. And I decided, you know what, man? It looks good the way it is. Just leave it alone. And uh, so there we go. We got the uh, bracket back reinstalled finally. You see what I mean? And... I'll raise that pickup up just a little. Just a little. We don't want it too far down. Uh, looks just right. Looks just like the other as far as height. So that's great, man. That, that worked out very, very well. Whew. Very pleased. And we're going to hook it right here on the end turn it on and proceed to tune and then now this is going to take this is going to take some time because uh, the Floyd Rose system is going to have to adjust all right man here is the finished product right here this is the bracket that we put on and the other one was thicker, so it set up higher. So we uh, we're in, we're back in business now. We went ahead and had to drill a couple of holes down in here, and uh, so we're back in business. We got new strings, clean the neck. Uh, you can see the balls on the end of the strings that I was talking about. How you run them through and it stops right there, so it saves you from a lot of extra trouble with winding. So let's let's uh. See if it plays, right? Should, I mean, I didn't mess with any electronics, but I want to test out this pickup. <laughs> So we're back in business, man. Thanks for watching. See you, brother. Bye-bye.